Her video cheat sheet implementing chat in Shortel Contact Center version 7. Chat uh, is a different function than, let's say, internet messaging. Chat is where you hit a website and perhaps there's a link that says uh, talk to a sales agent right now or chat with an agent right now. You click on the link and you open up a, a a session with the next available agent in your contact center and you can exchange text messages. I think before we go too much further it's important to review just how calls flow in a contact center. So uh, this is not a video tutorial on the contact center. We have many other videos that cover that. We're going to assume that you've implemented a contact center. We're going to focus exclusively on chat, but I do want to review the fact that uh, in a voice call, typically you're going to have a public uh, switch network. You're going to have uh, a DNS or DID number that either comes in, hits an auto attendant, and you self-navigate uh, through menu selections. But ultimately, the menu selection will point or these DNS or DID will point directly to a route point. The route point is a construction inside the Shortel PBX, um, and that route point will couple with an internal routing number, or IRN, in the Enterprise Contact Center. That will, in turn, point to a service, the service will point to a group, and the group will contain your agents. And that's basically the call flow. A call comes in from the PSTN, hits a route point. In this case, we've got two route points, one for customer support, one for tech support. That route point will then uh, um, couple with an IRN. Uh, perhaps the service calls out some script that you want to run before uh, processing the call, like please enter your account number, and then the call will hit its destination group and ultimately ring your agents. So what's important to note is that in a chat, the same ECC structure exists. So everything you did to set up a voice call, uh, you will do with a chat call. The difference being, instead of hitting a PSTN over here, we're going to be uh, implementing a link on your public website that couples with this internal routing number. From there, the flow is the same as a voice call in your contact center. Someone hits the website, clicks the chat link, that chat link is coupled to an IRN in the contact center and then follows the normal service group agent strategy that uh, you pre previously implemented. So what are the key components? You're going to have, obviously, your contact center. Uh, those of you who have implemented know that a contact center runs on a Shortel distributed voicemail server. So there is a Shortel headquarters server, but we're focused on the contact center. You're also going to have a requirement for a, a web server. Um, I know that the ECC has um, Windows uh, IIS running. However, the chat function requires a Tomcat server. So you will implement a second server you will run Apache Tomcat, and I will save you a lot of grief. This subnet for the Tomcat server and the subnet for the ECC must be the same. So in this example, 172.16.10.8 and 9 define our resource, our internal resource. Out here on your public website, you're going to create a link that link, however you construct the graphics, you know, your web people can make it pretty. 
uh, and have the look and feel of the rest of your website. But at the end of the day, it's going to point to an HTML, HTML file that is running down here on this Tomcat server. So that's going to require a public IP address, which is port forwarded by your firewall to the Tomcat server, which lives on your private uh, local area network. The chat HTML file, and we'll talk about this in greater detail in a moment, actually lives out here in web apps on the Tomcat server. So here's the actual uh, link and you're going to modify this chat HTML file uh, to uh, accomplish look and feel changes and also to contain the information necessary to talk to the uh, ECC. So the call comes in, hits the Tomcat server, and opens up a chat session with an agent based on the a service group destination routing strategy you have established with the ECC, those components, those procedures, that process, that scripting is the same as for a voice call. We're just going to now talk about this link from chat to the Tomcat server. What do you need to implement chat? Well, in this example, we're, we're working with Shortel version 7. It, uh, chat uh, has been a function in the contact center for some time. does not have to be 7. In this uh, cheat sheet, we're using 7. You're going to need a number of licenses equal to the number of agents that will be logged in uh, to a group. Uh, um, so if you've got 10 agents in that group and they're all eligible for chat, you're going to need 10 chat licenses. You will need a copy of Tomcat server version 5.5 or better. And uh, you can get this from the Apache Software Foundation. It is freeware. It's uh, also an excellent uh, little web server. Uh, easy to implement. You can put it on Windows. You can put it on Linux. Uh, there's a a version available at Apache uh, for virtually every uh, platform out there, but it needs to be 5.5 or better. You need to uh, implement that server in the same uh, subnet as the contact center. You um, will need to create a public IP address and port forward port 8080 to the IP address of your Tomcat server. Uh, optionally, I guess you could put the Tomcat server in a DMZ, but uh, most people will uh, opt for the firewall option, and that's uh, understood by the IT folks. You will need uh, Java 1.6 or higher. Um, there is a JavaScript uh, required to implement uh, the chat functionality. So uh, when you bring up your Tomcat server, you will also install uh, Java 1.6 or higher. In the distribution software for the ECC, you will find a chat toolkit. Um, obviously, if you're bringing this up for the first time, it's a non-issue. But as you do your software upgrades, you need to remember that the uh, chat function itself will necessarily be upgraded. So you will take the chat toolkit, make sure it matches the version. And in that chat, chat toolkit, you're going to find a file called ECC chat, three C's, ECC chat.war. And uh, there's also a demonstration of uh, the callback function um, in a file called web callback WDAR. You will take these two file folders from the chat toolkit, and you will copy this to the web apps folder in your Tomcat. Mm -hmm.